They're wrapping things up here in Madison Square Garden, but you may notice the nets have not been cut down here. That was not a mistake after Louisville's second consecutive Big East Tournament Championship. In fact, it was by design. We had four goals going into this year. One was to, to win the regular season, and we shared it with some great teams. Two was to win the, this championship. Three was to get a very high seed, and four was to win a national championship. Now, we don't presume at all that we can get there. We just wanted to savor, if we ever do get there, that one moment. Yeah, this is crazy. It's, it's, it's the best feeling ever, you know. Winning it last year and then winning it again this year. Uh, but at the same time, we got one more goal. That's that big, that's that NCAA national championship. So when we win that, that's what I'll celebrate. Louisville scored more than 50 points in the second half and outscored Syracuse by 30 in the final 20 minutes of this game. Eric Crawford has more on what got into the cards at the half. Well, it was clearly one University of Louisville team that walked back this tunnel into halftime with its largest halftime deficit of the season and another team that came out that rolled over Syracuse for the Big East Tournament Championship. Rick Pitino at halftime yelled and screamed for two minutes, went over everything the team did wrong, and then posed this challenge. He said, this is the last Big East Tournament. Is this how you want to go out? And then he told them to figure it out, and he walked out of the room. And the team there by themselves did figure it out. They came out in the second half on fire, especially freshman Montrez Harrell. 16 of his career-high 20 points in the second half gave Louisville the interior presence they needed. A 27-3 run outscored Syracuse 44-10 in one stretch, and they go to the NCAA tournament in style with perhaps the number one overall seed. Fun to watch. This was a team with a national championship performance today. Let's take it back to Steve. After the regular season, Louisville put nine games on its whiteboard in its home locker room. Kevin Ware told me after this one, it'll say six games now. That's the equation for winning a national championship. Three down in the postseason, six more to go. Reporting from Madison Square Garden, Steve Andrus, WDRB Sports.